My name is Ashraf Garda and I have this great responsibility, great privilege in fact, uh, to deliver to you the, the champion South Africa, champion people of the week. This is for week three. So who are they? Who made this list based upon nominations by people like yourself and, and us, a champion South Africa, deciding who are the people that best embodies champion people, build champion nations. Well, the first one for this week is posthumously awarded to the late advocate George Bezos. An absolute icon, the human rights champion, a person who's been described as having an unflinching commitment to doing the right things. Uh, he's been involved uh, with the Ravonia trial, um, and therefore Nelson Mandela and all the key people that have shaped the country has defended numerous people. I'd suggest you Google it and find out exactly what he's done. But he's lost, and we've seen that, uh, the, the outpouring of humanity from people, understanding that, that we've lost a champion. The Triple H Ad Agency is also on this list. They entered for the UK-based Purpose Awards and uh, they were recognized as the overall agency of the year. Here's a South African-based company headed by Sarika Modi. They've done fabulous things all around the issue of purpose and, and their citation talks about an organization that is impact written all over it, which I think is a fabulous tribute. By the way, it's an all women organization as well. So there you are in our champion, amongst our champion people of the week. The next on that list is Laduma Kokolo. Now we may know him as the designer of uh, Makosa Africa or Africa. Uh, and he, well, he's already done fantastic things creating uh, Kosa inspired designs, uh, geometric designs, bright colors, mainly in knitwear, and, and it's a joy to behold. But just this week, uh, he was allowed to showcase his amazing work uh, at the New York Fashion Week, a, a sign again of not just him, but South Africans achieving big things, not just in our country, not just in Africa, but around the world. The next one is uh, Tumi Soul. Now, he is the head of country duty. And what he's done, I think, is exactly that, delivering his country duty. He found out about a person called Wiseman uh, in Dambezita. Now, he's the, the guy, the garage has been well documented, who was the victim of a prankster who got him to fill up petrol and then drove away, uh, leaving the garage attendant out of pocket by 210 rands. Now, I understand it as a prank, and, and actually that person then did pay. Of course, he recorded the whole thing as well. But more than that, Tumi Sol got wind of it and he used his formidable Twitter profile in particular to promote the need to not just raise money, firstly, uh, for Wiseman, but, but to assist him. And my understanding is the response from the public has been incredible. I also understand that NetBank also came along and I don't know how much they've given him. But from being in this deficit of 210 rands at that point in time, I understand his life will have changed forever. Um, so great for him, for Wiseman, but also importantly, the, the role of Tumi Sol in magnifying the problem. And that just shows you how South Africans can create high impact if we truly get our act together. The next one is Wade van Niekerk. Now, we all know him as the South African Olympic gold medalist, but he hasn't ran for three years because he's had injuries, right? But uh, just last week, he ran in a meet in Switzerland, and the times don't really matter, but what's important in that meet, his first, well, he came out first, and I expect bigger things from him uh, in the future, leading up to the now delayed or postponed Olympic Games, and let's hope he does incredibly well. But for now, well, he's amongst those champion people of the week. The next one goes to Dishal Suku. Now, this is a fascinating story. It's not just about typical, you know, achievement. Because Dishan Suku is the head of a, of a restaurant, the Bella Napoli, uh, in the Ruruport area. And, and that should have been the end of the story, excepting on this one day recently, 
uh, a child was was sitting in a restaurant, a uh, four-year-old child with uh, with uh, with a mother, and a person jumped over the uh, well, got into the area. In fact, where these people were seated outside in the restaurant, right? So this is fencing or barricade, and this person went straight for this four-year-old child, nabbed the child with a clear plan to kidnap the child. We find out later on that this person was part of a syndicate to try and kidnap young children. But that didn't happen because of Dishal Suku. What did he do? He was able to identify the problem within seconds. He pounced on the would-be kidnapper, pinned him down to the ground, used his great martial arts experience to ensure that he cannot move and got him arrested. And in that case, ensure that this child was not a victim to a gruesome, horrific kidnapping. That gets Dishal Suku into our Champion People of the Week. Zapir is also in the Champion People of the Week. Now, I mentioned earlier George Bezos. Well, Zapir is in because of an incredible single cartoon. He's already an amazing cartoonist, but his depiction of George Bezos, rest in peace, is something you need to be watching. So what he did is got this image of George Bezos and uh, this cartoon, and, and but he's been so clever. He's used, for example, the eyebrows uh, in this cartoon to, uh, and, and he's got on there Kathrada and then Sisulu, and then he's got uh, with the hair, he's got Ravonia trial, uh, and he's done up the hair like that, um, and a whole lot of other people, people that George Bezos um, in fact defended. And then the, the moustache, which is the centerpiece really of the entire cartoon, has got, if you look closely, you may not see it, but if you look closely, you'll see he's got a scribbled in cartoon style Mandela. It is an incredibly outstanding cartoon and, and it tells you once again what a talent uh, Zapiro is and what a talent we have in, or what talent we have in South Africa. Jerusalem Dance Challenge. Well, we've spoken in the past already about uh, Master KG, okay, so there's nothing new, but once again, um, those numbers of people who are dancing to the tune just grow in ascendancy. And when you have the president of the country uh, recently saying, as we get to Heritage Day, and saying, people, as part of this renewed heritage, can you go out on the streets, or when you're having your picnics, and can you embrace the Jerusalem Dance Challenge? So when you get endorsement of the highest office in the land, well, you know you've certainly made it big time. So once again, in fact, it's the second time in three weeks we've got Master KG's uh, group, Jerusalem Dance Challenge, uh, as part of our champion people of the week. Who else is in that group? Dr. Shamila uh, Ramjawan is in this list. She's been, uh, she's a businesswoman. She's done fantastic philanthropic work as well. But just now she's been uh, appointed the USA International Africa chairperson and also an ambassador for this organization uh, that deals uh, around online educational projects. So it's a great acknowledgement. She's born in South Africa, she's made in South Africa, uh, and she's been identified globally for her fabulous work. And that gets her into the champion people of the week. Well, we're, we're just about done. The last one we have is uh, Akani Simbine. Now he's the brilliant athlete who runs the 100 meters and uh, he took part in the diamond league recently and in doing that he clocked a time of 9.96 of course he won the race but very importantly it suggests that he's primed now to get into peak form um, ahead of all the other big events and then hopefully olympic gold and we certainly hope it happens but for now what he's done already at 9.96, enough to get him into the champion people of the week. Now, here's the point. You can nominate, it has to be very current, like one week, two weeks old achievements. Anybody that you think, or an organization that you think is worthy of the title of being called the champion South Africa, uh, in that champion South Africa, champion people of the week. To do just that, uh, get to our website, championsouthafrica.org, or on our social media platforms, Make that 
nomination. You can also email us info at championsouthafrica.co.za. Looking forward to your nominations and perhaps one day when you are listed amongst the 10 people organizations that are in the Champion South Africa Champion People of the Week.